Cardano, as of late, has been under the microscope. We've obviously been paying attention more. Most of the world has, as you know, ADA has been alleged as a security by the SEC. This has obviously been passed down. So everybody's, again, paying very close attention to what's going on. And now we've actually seen IOG, the developer of Cardano, do a little bit of restructuring that's led to some layoffs. And I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, I do have to say, before we get into this, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. And I want to show you guys why that is and talk with you about it. Now, IOG has been restructuring into a venture studio where its core is smaller and it has many spinoffs. This is right from Charles Hoskinson. As we move into this new business model, we've consolidated and eliminated groups that are redundant or not relevant to the new model. The new venture studio model will have a, a number of spinoffs, including a wallet division, Lace, an identity framework, Prism, and Cardano-related infrastructures. Despite the layoff, IOG is continuing to hire and grow, Hoskinson told Coindesk. He did not specify the roles for which the company is hiring, nor the numbers of employees it will hire. They've also not specified the number of people that have, in fact, been let go based on this new business model. Now, here's the thing. You got to remember, this model that they're moving towards has nothing to do with anything going on with ADA or the SEC or anything like that. This is a move that was going to be happening regardless. The reason why I say that, <clears throat> excuse me, wow, has something in my throat. The reason why I say that is as Cardano moves closer and closer to full decentralization, the need of this main core large business isn't necessary anymore. They've been so focused on building out the infrastructure, maintaining the chain, stuff like that, that once we get to full decentralization, that isn't necessary anymore. All you have to do then is have smaller groups that essentially maintain the infrastructure surrounding it, right? The smaller side chains, the the wallets, right? Stuff like that, okay? This need for ongoing development <clears throat> when it comes to Cardano itself isn't necessarily needed at the same capacity that it was before. That's the reason why they're going to this new, what they call it, venture venture studio model, okay? So this actually isn't anything really at all. It's not anything to get worried about. What it is, in fact, is a confirmation that we are moving into a new era when it comes to Cardano. We're moving into a new, exciting, fully decentralized era that's obviously scalable, can bring in mass quantities of people, has new unique growth opportunities in different areas around the world. This is actually a very exciting moment. Despite all the things that are going on that are negative, that that again are focusing on Cardano right now, there's these signs of light, these positive signs that are right in front of us right now that we can see and witness. The unknown doesn't matter because it's unknown, right? We don't even know if it's going to get to court, right? Because <laughs> that's the big thing is just because you say I actually, and I think I saw Brad Garlinghouse say this, or I can't remember who it was, but John Deaton, maybe I think it was John Deaton. He said, just because something is alleged as a security doesn't make it so they have to prove it in the court of law. And we still haven't even seen a formal lawsuit come down against Cardano, against ADA. Okay. They have to prove it in the court of law. And I think it's funny because obviously there's been some exchanges that have jumped the gun and like like uh, Robin Hood, I don't even want to call it an exchange. Those guys, right? They <laughs> they jumped the gun. They delisted these quote unquote unregistered securities, and I think that's going to hurt business for them. You know, it's funny because you get into you try to get into crypto to help you know create more revenue, but then you're the first one to basically weenie out. And yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Right? There will be people who succeed in the long term because of their continued support for what a for what Cardano is doing, for what Ada is doing, and those other assets as well. So this is exciting. I'm excited about the future of Cardano. I think now it's bigger than it's ever been. And the opportunity to grow still lies there. So I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely show your support below if you guys haven't already. But have a great Tuesday and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.